Hello, Julie Gorsi coming to you today with my monthly market wrap. Having a look at sales across the coastal markets we service, the volume of sales is down about 50% on this time last year. Also, the number of properties on the market is down by about the same amount. Possibly the two go hand in hand. Colborough Beach has been the most active out of the markets with seven sales in the last six weeks. We're proud to have handled four of those. Kalala Bay has seen two sales. Kalala Beach, also two. Greenwell Point, two. Kurrarong and Orient Point, both no sales, all in the last six weeks. With some sales results starting to come through, it's obvious that prices have corrected between 10 and up to 30% in some instances. It's pretty simple. The more interest rates go up, the less people can borrow, meaning the less they're able to pay for a property. Speaking in general terms, if a buyer was previously or at the start of this year able to borrow $1 million, if they're looking to borrow money now, their capacity is down to about 800,000. The median house price for Kolbara, Kalala and Kararong have been hovering at just over $1 million for about the last 12 months. As we see sales start to settle and the new data come through, I believe over the next six months, we'll probably see that adjust to around the 800 mark. There is very strong buyer demand for properties a short walk to the beach. An example of this is number seven Hope Street, Colborough Beach. We had 39 inspections throughout the auction campaign, seven registered bidders and a sale by auction for 1,126,000. The same can be said for entry level properties like this one, number 15 J Street at Colborough Beach, selling to local first home buyers for 630,000. As well as number 18 Hunter Street, Kalala Bay, which just sold for 820,000 to an investor. We're now advertising this property and seeking rental applications. There's been a lot of talk amongst locals about Shoalhaven City Council's Coastal Management Program. This program affects the entire South Coast. I've put the link in this email so that you can access the feedback portal. This is an interactive map and you can see the proposal which includes improving some beach access tracks as well as closing others. I believe that this will impact the landscape of Colborough Beach particularly and it's important to have your say. If this is something that you wanted to chat about, I'm more than happy to. Well, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. See you next month.